We all know GNOME has been one of the best desktop environments that provides a graphical user interface for the Linux operating system. It delivers a powerful user experience that is similar to Windows and Mac OS, but there are a few things that you can do to your GNOME desktop to make it more functional. This is where GNOME extensions comes into the picture. An extension is a piece of software that helps in customizing or tweaking GNOME desktop to the next level. These extensions will help you to install themes and icons, add fancy app transitions, blur the shell, and a lot more. Now all these extensions are free to use and very easy to install. Hey guys, my name is KS Kirail. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 must install best GNOME extensions for Ubuntu 2204. For demonstration purposes, I chose Ubuntu. You can also use these extensions on any GNOME-based distributions like Fedora, Manjaro, Zorin, Pop OS, and more. Before starting, if you enjoyed this video, please like and help the YouTube algorithm to make this video visible to more audience. If you are a beginner and don't know how to install a GNOME extension, let me show you how it works. First open a terminal, then type these commands to install its support for the shell extensions and tweak the GNOME desktop. Once it's done, reboot the system. After rebooting, open app drawer and search for GNOME tweaks. If you notice that the extensions tab is no longer a part of GNOME tweaks, it will be available as a separate application. Now using the extension tab, you can enable or disable any extension or control the behavior of the extension using its setting. Now open your favorite browser, in my case I'm using Chrome, and head over to the GNOME extensions page. Now click here to add a browser extension. Once the extensions plugin is added to your browser and you are ready to install a GNOME extension with one click. Now here on the current page, search for the first extension called Open Weather. Open Weather is a great extension that helps you keep track of the weather information at your location or any other location of your choice. As you can see, it looks quite attractive. This is a must-install extension that shows live weather information. Extensions list itself is an extension that shows a list of all installed extensions. And instead of using the extensions application, you can use this shortcut added to the panel and glance through all GNOME extensions. Now right from here, you can enable or disable the functionality of an extension. You can also customize the individual extension by jumping into settings. GNOME Shell uses blur in very few parts of the UI. If you notice, the background wallpaper on the lock screen has blurred out and looks pretty good. Now, apart from the lock screen, you may find a blur effect nowhere throughout the system. For instance, the background texture of the activities overview shows a simple gray color which looks awful. Installing Blur My Shell will extend a blur effect to the dock, panels, activities overview, and more. Now you can see the GNOME shell looks more attractive.
The CPU Power Manager is a very useful extension, especially while working on a laptop. This extension gives you control over how your computer resources are going to be used at any given time. This will improve the overall performance of the system. I present this extension is only for computers having Intel CPUs on board. Now using this extension, you can throttle the CPU speeds by changing the profiles. For example, if you need a full performance, like the performance for high-intensity task, if you are working with an application that doesn't require any power, then switch to other profiles that will fix battery draining issues. If you have installed themes inside your GNOME desktop, then use the user themes extensions to load shell themes from the user directory. Now this will load the themes from the hidden directory named themes present inside the home folder. To change themes, you must have installed the GNOME Tweaks tool. Now inside here, choose the appearance then select shell and see all the installed themes and this way you can change the themes hassle free everyone knows that apple has a fantastic feature called continuity now using this feature, both iPhone and Mac can work together via iCloud. For example, when you get a call on your iPhone, you can answer it from the Mac. Now thanks to GS Connect, which brings a similar experience between Linux and Android smartphones. Well, let me show you the demo. First, go ahead and grab the GS Connect extension on your Linux computer. Then on an Android device, head over to the Play Store and search and install an app called KDE Connect. Once it's done, open the app. Here you can see the host name of the computer. If you don't see any computer name over here, make sure both Linux and Android smartphones are connected to the same Wi-Fi. In my case, I'm gonna connect to the Ubuntu. That's it. Now, when both devices are connected, you can permit your Android device that enables the functionalities like transferring the files between them, seeing notifications, battery information, replying to messages, and much more. You can also control the Linux computer from an Android device. For example, you can use the Remove Input feature to mimic the mouse actions. Vitals adds system information to your panel that shows the real-time usage of system resources, which includes CPU, RAM, and more. In combination with Vitals, installing a network speed simplified gives a rough idea about the network traffic. It shows the upload and download speeds in real time. Along with that, you can also track the amount of data usage of the network session. Burn My Window shows an effect on an application when it's open or closed. There are a few effects that may surprise everyone. For example, if I open any app, this is the effect it will show. And if I close an application, it burns my window just like that.
Removable Disk Menu is a fantastic extension that shows the information about the storage devices connected to the computer via USB. By using this, you can quickly glance through the media drives. With one click, you can browse the files and tap on the eject button to safely unmount the USB drive. If you have used a Plasma desktop, then you already know about the Hot Corners. Hot Corners Extended brings Hot Corners features to the GNOME desktop. This way, hovering a mouse cursor on one corner puts me back on the desktop, the other corner puts the display to the sleep mode, another corner shows applications, and finally, the last corner runs a custom script or application. You can customize what you want for every corner. Clipboard Indicator is a useful extension for GNOME Shell that allows users to add up to 50 entries on the clipboard that can be used for future needs. This function also allows you to cache clipboard history. When you are running an important task that needs to be monitored, then use Caffeine which prevents your system from sleeping. When you add the Caffeine extension, you will see a mug icon on the top panel. An empty mug means that defaults will be applicable, that is, go to sleep. But when the mug is full, the system will not go into screensaver or sleep mode. And that's pretty much it. These are the top 10 best GNOME extensions that you must try on GNOME desktop and make it more functional. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next one.